Good morning, beautiful souls. Ah, oh, I'm here at an amazing venue that we have now that uh, restrictions have been lifted. We are back in our North Lakes venue. Have a look at our view. You might, all you may see is glaring light, but we have the most beautiful lake, lakeside view here, which is just stunning. And I'm here at the North Lakes Hotel because I'm running a three-day immersion, which is part of our Beer Beacon Year Mastery. But it is also a standalone three-day immersion for anyone curious. And what I wanted to share with you was a little bit around what we what we what we teach and what we embody day one. Good morning, Anita. And if you are doing a lot of spiritual work, I don't care how much work you are doing. If you haven't learned, and what we don't know, we don't know. If you haven't learned how to anchor that light of your divinity in your body, and not just in your body, but to earth, then you are not going to create the changes that you want. You are going to create temporary changes. You know that feeling when you go to a yoga class or you go, you're on your meditation mat or even go to a workshop or an event and you feel the change, but you can't sustain the change, right? Everyone know what I'm talking about? Let me know if you're on here live and you get what I'm talking about. You get a change, but you can't sustain the change. And the reason you can't sustain the change is because you haven't fully embodied that change. You haven't fully embodied and anchored that change to the earth. And when you get change, change is because of an expansion. Change is light coming into your body. But if you can't harness that, if you can't open into that, fully expand and anchor that into the earth, then it's, it's just um, a temporary because it fluctuates, right? It's wavering. What we're about here in our be with our beer beacons is about permanent change. And that is about anchoring and that is about consistency because you need to learn how to embody that change, not just here in this beautiful space. We have all our chairs set up for all our beautiful beacons today, not just in the comfort and the ease of the environment of your training environment or your meditation room or whatever class and support you have, but to be able to embody that change when, when pressure comes in, presence under pressure, when the competing energies of the world come in. So we have three days at our three-day immersion that our beer beacons in our mastery program repeat four times a year. And some of them, because they've been in the program a while, have been doing this like 11 or 12 times. And every single time... Um, we always get the, the really uh, quite humorous kind of comment of, oh my goodness, I didn't hear you say that last time. I got that in a whole new way because we can only receive so much. We can only expand so much. If we took everything in that was possible to expand and grow in in one go, we would just literally explode, right? It, it takes time to really integrate. So yesterday, day one is all around this anchoring in of the light of your energy and where to hold that in your body. And um, for women, it's, it's pretty specific where we hold this energy in our body and how we anchor it to earth. And when you can do that, the conditions that it creates is not just this capacity to be more unwavering in your embodiment, but it is the safety, it is the foundation of future change because it is, it is the roots, it is the anchor. If you don't feel safe and stable, you will not create the changes that you want in your life. Why? Because change is a little scary, right? For your mind anyway, not for your soul. Your soul is fearless. Your soul's like, bring it on. I'm here for this. But your mind and your body and, and everything else in our environment is telling us change is scary, creates security, creates safety, and you'll be okay. And you just like grow from there. But the thing is, we want to create safety and security in our external environment, but our external environment is inherently unstable, right? Everything in our environment is designed to change. We go through these cycles of birth, death, rebirth, sustaining, all of that. Why? Because everything is 
in an expansion cycle. So it does not make sense. You cannot avoid change. You cannot avoid flux. So because our mind knows this on a deep level, it tries to fixate and control our environment to create safety. But what that does, I'm going to change hands, got a sore arm holding this, what that does is create limitations because your, your soul is desiring change, it's wanting growth, but your mind and your body is want to lock into what feels safe and secure and comfortable, so you get caught in conflict. Right? And that conflict of what your soul desires and what your mind is telling you to do is uncomfortable and leads to doubt, leads to fear, leads to procrastination, leads to embodied pain, leads to obstacles showing on, up in your life. Are you getting me? You understand? You're feeling that in your life? So the pathway through, the beginning, the foundation of true change is the embodiment and the anchoring in you of your unwavering source self because it is the only thing that is unwavering when you can anchor it. It's unwavering anyway, but it wavers in you when you don't anchor it, right? Because it's competing energies of your mind and external environment. So when you can stay with your source self by anchoring it in the right place in your body and anchoring it into earth, which is what we teach here and many other things, and getting all the other resistances out of the way, the resistances in your physical body over time from stress, the resistances in your mind from the belief system, the resistance in your emotion, again, from acquired and accumulated patterns, and we can anchor that light and we can release resistance around it and the fears and doubts around it. Now we have things starting to change. Now we have the fertile soul. And you have to learn then how to be able to take that out of this beautiful space. Look at the little altar we have set up here and into your world. That is embodying the change. And that's why we do run this three day immersion. We're on day two today, which I'm really excited about. But we also run a year mastery program because of this need to consistently embody change and to grow in that capacity. Grow in that capacity so that you can go and do amazing, incredible things. You have a sacred mission. You are a creator. You are here to bring light, not just for you in this body, in this world, but you are here to elevate and uplift and inspire others. We're here on a collective path. And it's all very well being able to embody that light in, again, a secure environment or even in a familiar environment. But if you want to grow into the, the leader that you are, into the inspiring example and the creator of change, maybe in your family, maybe in your workplace, maybe it's a, new, a business that you run, then you need to be able to hold that light no matter what. No matter what. Right, And that is the path we're on here at Be A Beacon, creating heaven on earth, creating beacons that can sustain light, anchor light on this planet for the highest benefit, not just of you, of me, but for everyone. If that is a path that you are interested in or you've been playing on it a while, but you're not really getting the traction that you wanted and you feel like, yeah, I'm missing something. What she's saying here, I'm missing some embodiment pieces or I know the tools, but I don't have the accountability around me to sustain it. Or, um, yeah, I'm not sure what she's talking about, but it sounds really good. And yeah, I'm really wanting some change in my life. Then reach out. I will pop down here somewhere in the chat. I don't know if I can actually comment while I'm on my phone. I'm not on my computer. Let me just see. Well, I can write a comment. I'm just going to pop down here in the chat um, where you can reach out to me because my assistant, I don't think, is on here at the moment. It's beckstompson.com. Whoops. Forward slash work with me. So on my website, I have a little bit more information about our three day. It's a little bit more information about the year, um, but know that you can do a three day with us. Work with me. There you go. It's in the chat now. Hopefully that came through. I didn't put the HTTPS bit at the front, but it's all good. And you can book a chat with me there. You can learn a little bit more and you can book a chat with me if you're like, hmm, this is interesting. Let's have a little chat and see what's going on here. It is the most comprehensive program that I know. And I'm not just saying that. I've been in this um, you know, arena for a while. I've been in this personal development and spiritual and healing world for over 30 years. We have grown Bear Beacon the most 
massively to a multi six figure, you know, business during the hardest time on the planet during this sort of COVID time. And we're continuing to expand. That is the power of this work and the community that we are building. So yeah, Donna, please call me. Hey, Donna, jump onto that link, book a chat with me and we can have a chat there. Yeah. Um, Joe Lee, thank you for watching. And Nietzsche, thank you for watching. Have an amazing day. We are going to have an incredible day here. Oh my goodness. We are all about today. Quick insight today, day two, is around confidence and clarity and the courage to stay in your center when things are challenging around you, when you come into relationship with somebody else. And we all know what that can feel like, right? When we come into that sort of um, other strong energy in the space this is what we're about today. If you can't hold your energy around other strong energies, then you are always going to be taking a step back no matter how steps forward you, you come. So today is about how we harness the, the energy that we've anchored, how we move that energy in our body for confidence, for inner strength, for clarity, for courage, and to be able to sustain your energy when you are in relationship with other. Who doesn't need that? This is what day two is all around. All right, beautiful stars. I'm going to go because I've got a little bit about setting up to do. I'm so excited. Have a beautiful day. Look at this. It is so gorgeous. So, 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 so gorgeous. So much love to you wherever you are. And if you're interested, you just want to have a chat, jump on that link. I'll pop down here below. You can get some more info and book a chat with me. Gorgeous. Take care. Have a great weekend.